the most dominant cultural attributes maintained are the ones that are reinforced by your environment. If you are born into a society which rewards competition over collaboration, then you most likely will adopt those values in order to survive. The point is, we are essentially biochemical machines. The source of our actions come fundamentally from the ideas and experiences installed on our mental hardware by the world around us. However, our biological computer, the human mind, has an evolutionarily installed operating system, if you will, with some seemingly difficult tendencies built in, which tends to limit our objectivity and hence our rational thought process. This comes in the form of emotional inclinations. You know, I'm sure many people here have heard the phrase, be objective. No human being can be fully objective. Therefore, there is a very common propensity for us humans to find something that works for our needs, given the social structure, and then to hold on to it for dear life, regardless of new conflicting information which might rationally expect a logical change to occur. Change tends to be feared, for it upsets our associations. Therefore, anytime someone dares to present an idea outside of or contrary to the establishment programming, the reaction is often a condemning of the idea as blasphemy or undermining or conspiracy or simply erroneous.